We had a break from the rain today, but another storm is right around the corner. I'll have your weekend forecast next at 8. On the peninsula, not too much action yet, just cloudy conditions and a lot of moisture. However, we do see some light showers starting to form here in the East Bay, just south of Livermore. The South Bay looks like it's dry right now, but the winds have actually gone down to below 40 miles per hour. And here's where it's currently situated out in Texas. And I actually saw the end of the rainbow. It hit a Toyota Prius. I was waiting for the gold to come out of the trunk. <laughs> Speaking of that fog, I was raised in an Asian household. We had had rice cookers in our homes growing up and we always had this joke that maybe it's not fog maybe it's all us Asians cooking them rice. <laughs> Erica do you pick these cameras? Yeah. Hey yeah. okay, what is it? Well don't blame me for the weather <laughs> no you guys. Hey Erica you match the mustard flowers. I know right? <laughs> I call this my banana dress. 72 in Santa Barbara. Here in San Francisco, temperature is going to be a little above normal for this time of year because of that high pressure. The North Bay is going to get the most rain from the system, about an inch. Current winds are 125 miles per hour, which makes it a Category 3 hurricane. 63 for our high in Pacifica, 74 for San Bruno, lower 80s in Burlingame. Those temperatures are a couple degrees higher because of those clouds keeping a little more heat in solar. Taking a live look outside Berkeley, seeing clear conditions right now. We want to get a look at weather and traffic, and Erica is doing both today, double duty. Two hats. Yep, better than duty. one. <laughs> but it's kind of lonely over here in the weather and traffic center now so that big. I don't have Raina and yeah. John, you know, singing and stuff. Absolutely. And what you're are we looking need at today? More wind today. Uh, yeah, the winds are going to pick up this afternoon. Um, I was planning on going hiking, but I'm double thinking it now. <laughs> yeah. and I'll probably wait oh, until Sunday or Monday. Are you craving a hot dog right, right now? <laughs> I know I am, Erica. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm hungry too. <laughs> Check it out. Have Might a be little staycation. Sounds yeah. nice. Right, Erica? Right. Yeah, speaking of San Francisco, our temperatures today for daytime highs are going to be in the 70s. Out in the Sierra, we're going to get some fresh powder this weekend as well. I have a map pulled up right now of California, the active fires that we're seeing. In fact, I want to zoom on into one of those fires here, the Dixie Fire. Um, as you can see, the smoke here is blowing to the northeast. That is because of that jet stream and that's going to continue to blow in that direction. You can see all the states are affected by the smoke and those fires. Fires. Luckily, it's not blowing here. This area of low pressure also has a cold front with it. So that's why our temperatures tomorrow will actually be a few degrees cooler versus what we saw today. So our winds are also going to be coming out of the south and the southwest. As you can see here, it looks like our gusts went down a little bit versus a couple of hours ago. So I don't expect these winds to increase for the rest of tonight. The storm system is actually pretty weak, especially compared to the next system that's coming Wednesday night. So by close to 10 o'clock here, you see moderate rain starting to push through the rest of the North Bay here. Santa Rosa getting wet. Marin County also getting some showers as well as parts of the East Bay here. So just after midnight, you see it here shift down to other parts of the East Bay as well as the peninsula. And then the South Bay is the last area to get hit with the rain. As you can see, this is five o'clock tomorrow morning. So on your way to work, you can expect to see some cloudy conditions and some dense fog as well.